my hair's a little bit ridiculous at the moment because I don't know it is and I like it I like my hair being ridiculous that is the look that I go for when it comes to my hair just ridiculous so that's just completely irrelevant to what I was trying to make this video about I recently did a podcast thing with my friend Spry Spryright um, who is a fellow youtuber he does vlogs and stuff um, his name is Sam, like me, my name is Sam, his name's Sam, so naturally, we're like, we're friends. So, he's like one of the first people I kind of met when I first started YouTube, um, he's from England somewhere, and yeah, so I did a pot, and he, we, he started doing like a podcast with YouTuber people, and... I was like, well, I don't, I don't mind doing it and stuff, and so that's what I did. But there was, there was one, at least one, question on that podcast that I was not satisfied with my answer. And the question was, what was the most, what was the most stereotypical Australian thing that you have been a part of? And my answer that I gave was something along the lines of barbecue at a sporting event. I mean, that's just a boring answer. But tonight when I was brushing my teeth, ready to head to bed, I thought of something. I thought of something. It wasn't really stereotypical, but I think that it was pretty Australian. Um... And it only happened a few weeks ago. So, here goes. Right, okay. So, I was on the bus, on my way to university, ready to learn about something I don't really know. And then, you know, as I was looking at my phone, doing my on the bus thing, the bus kind of just suddenly slowed right the fuck down. And I was like, whoa, this is weird. Um, this was as, as we're going past Parliament House, you know, the Australian Parliament House has like two big poles, it's like, it's kind of cool looking, it's like underground, but not, and it goes up and there's a big pole and the Australian flag, I might put a picture here, I don't know, I live in the capital of Australia, which is not Sydney, as many as I'm sure a lot of you believe, but it's not Sydney, it's a place called Canberra, it's spelt Canberra, but it's said Canberra, I guess, I don't know if that's like the correct way to say it, but that's how everyone says it, in Australia at least, Canberra, Canberra. Canberra. Anyway, it's going. Well, we're about to go past Parliament House. Um, on the bus, but it kind of came to a halt, and you know, suddenly being slow in a place that I thought that we weren't going to be slow. I looked out the window as to what would cause such a reaction from the bus driver, and I looked up and saw you know a bunch of police cars and policemen and women, police people being like, oh no, something's happening, and, you know, I looked at what they were there for, and I thought, you know, maybe it was like someone crashed or something, but no, it was just a kangaroo lying on the road, holding up traffic, being like, yeah, whatever, man, just, just lying there, doing its own thing, right, and I was like, man, this seems really Australian, just, you know, kangaroo just chilling, because they're pretty big, if you hit a kangaroo, your car's gonna be fucked. It's much like deer, right? Deer and moose, I believe. If you if your car hits one of them, your car's fucked, right? Anyway, so it was just chilling on the road. So you know, the police were kind of just there, I guess, to be like, "Go away, kangaroo, go away." That that was the thoughts that crossed my mind. But the the bus kind of slowly went past it, and I was like, "Man, this is as I was saying before, this is like super Australian, like a kangaroo." blocking traffic next to Parliament House, right? Okay, so then I looked at the kangaroo as I got a better view of it, and I looked at its lead leg, and a bone was sticking out of its leg, and it was like, ugh. So it, clearly someone had hit the kangaroo. I didn't see the car, or maybe, you know, the kangaroo just kind of fucked its leg somehow, but it was just lying on the road, chilling, with a bone sticking out of its leg. And I was like, what the fuck? How are you in that much pain and just chilling on the road? What the fuck? And I believe that is the most Australian thing. Australian situation that I've been in. I'm sorry that I couldn't come up with that on the spot. It took a few.
few nights thinking to come up with my answer, but here it is. My answer is the most Australian situation that I have been in. Not really stereotypical, but just still, you know, to me the most Australian thing is seeing a kangaroo chilling on the road, blocking traffic next to the Australian Parliament House. So yeah, you should go check out the rest of the podcast where I answer more questions and hopefully I'll be on it again soon answering other questions because it was a lot of fun and I had a good time and yeah, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll also, I guess, leave a link to Sam's YouTube channel and yeah, bye.